What is up? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make some killer chicken breast and along with some rice. And this is gonna be very good for your diet. It's very healthy and you know, very basic. All you need is some chicken breast, some rice. I'm using parboiled rice, so I think you could use any rice some spices, some fake lemon juice by a real lemon equivalent to 69 lemons and also some chicken broth powder in Spanish so good luck with that and yeah let's get started all right so when we first start off it really doesn't matter which one we start with the chicken or the rice but let's just start with the chicken right now because why not um, we're going to put the chicken on here on this smaller heating circle and the rice on this bigger heating circle so typically what i do is just turn both to the max because you know we just want it to be done as soon as possible there really is no point in waiting but you also need to be here most of the time making sure your shit doesn't burn like it happens to me sometimes and now, uh, while that's running in the background, I don't know if this uh, meets up with kitchen safety standards, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Actually, no, I'm gonna turn it down a bit. You know, don't wanna burn up the house or anything. And you gotta grab a knife, you know, cut up your chicken however you want it. How I do it is I cut it into the smallest pieces possible because it gives it more surface area to cook faster and better so yeah just cut it into very small skinny strips because you know we're fat phobic we don't want them to be fat just keep going at it just keep going at your meat until you're done when the chicken is starting to bubble and shit like this so i also add some water to the chicken just to like prevent it from drying up too quickly. Along with that, I also throw in some minced garlic, but since I don't have any, I'm just gonna use garlic powder. Now I would also add salt, so just however much you think is adequate. Some pepper, you know, just sprinkle it on around there. That's pretty much it. Now let's move on to the rice. So I just realized like a while back that you're supposed to like wash rice before you eat it but me i just throw it in there and i don't die so i'm gonna just keep on doing it so you know, have your pot right here just dump some in there nice fill it up with water it seems like i maybe put in a bit too much water for what it is so i'm just gonna like put a bit more rice in there that seems about right. Also, note that I don't have garlic today, so right before you put in the water, you don't have to do it in this order, but I do. Just throw in some minced garlic or like use garlic powder like I had earlier. And then after you put in the water, you want to add in the Spanish chicken broth powder. So this thing right here, you know, open it up. Grab an amount that's roughly like this size, maybe a little bit more. And throw it in, just end it like that. Stir it in. You can also add other spices like turmeric, which I'm gonna do just for today. Tasty. Also add paprika, which I'm gonna do today because it's also pretty tasty. And strangely enough, you can add cinnamon to a mixture like this. Turmeric and cinnamon, I realize, go very good together. So feel free to try it out. If you think that's weird, then don't do it. But just add like a tiny bit. Don't want to overload it. Mix it around. Cap it. Same with the rice. All right, so when your chicken breast sort of like dries up like this, that's when you throw in the fake lemon by real lemon. Squirt it in there, move it around, whatever, let it soak it up. 
soak up all the juice, cap it, and then just wait, and then check on it again. Here we see your rice, it's boiling, nice and it's sexy. As you saw earlier, my chicken breast was like drying up, so I went ahead, added some water, kept it nice and moist. Just remember though, when you add water, just put the cap on so all the steam stays in here and the chicken just cooks. Once you see that your rice is starting to look like this, nice and like, you know, chunky, the water is disappearing, either turn down this thing or add more water if you want it chunkier. I don't really care how it is, but no, some people like it different, so go ahead, add more water, turn down the heat, turn it up, however you find most suitable. So here we are, approaching the end with this chicken, this rice over here. You know, now that you're near the end, what I do is just, I mean, you could do various things, but what I'm gonna do right now is just turn off the temperature on the chicken, you know. Seems to be pretty well cooked. I don't really time my stuff. I don't really care. I haven't died, so I think it's fine. I'll just cap it. Rice up there. It's also coming along pretty well. And I think our rice is finally done, although it is a bit moist. Still hot, I do not really care, so let's serve it now. So now, here is our completed product. I mean, nothing too impressive. The rice could be better. The chicken could have carried some more spice, but you know, I'm satisfied and you know, great change of flavor. And you know, you can add whatever you want to it. You know, when I add, I don't know, blueberries, go ahead, I don't care. Uh, so you may have noticed that I didn't really add a time. Like I didn't time, like cook rice for this long or cook chicken for this long. That's because I don't care and this is a very practical, simple, basic recipe that you can follow. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments.